Welcome back. I'm joined live now with Albany Mayor Dorothy Hubbard. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Well, we're talking about something special. You have a new initiative you're kicking off this weekend. Tell me yes, a little bit about it. Yes, well, it's our call to service initiative, um, and we are kicking that off on Saturday, June 9th at the Albany James H. Gray Civic Center. We're asking all citizens to come and join us as we uh, continue our efforts to clean up our city. Uh, as you will remember, on February 24th, we had a bus tour. And we invited all of our city and county commissioners and actually all elected officials, several business leaders and the media to join us so that we could just assess uh, where we are in terms of our litter and cleanup. And so we determined that uh, there is still a need for us to uh, continue our cleanup. As you also know, the city commission has had as one of its initiatives cleanup of uh, litter and blighted property for the last five years. We've uh, had a have a code enforcement that really, really works on that. Keep all been adored. Beautiful works on it. And so there's just so many people out there who are already doing things. But we've determined that that's not enough. So th thus, my call to service. I'm asking everybody, uh, uh, city leaders, uh, sororities, fraternities, churches, faith-based organizations, any civic or social, social organization that uh, has uh, as an initiative community service to join us uh, for our, our cleanup initiative. Uh, we will uh, have uh, geographic uh, locations, as kind of adopt a spot kind of uh, idea, if you will, and we'll ask people to sign up for those spots and, and to, uh, you know, clean up our, help us clean our neighborhoods. So. Now, you know, as the mayor, you have a lot of different things that you mm -hmm. have a hand in. Of all the different things that you could target, why are you choosing to target this first? Well, there are several reasons. Number one is that we uh, will not break the budget. We This kind of initiative uh, is an initiative that we don't have to increase the budget to, to do it. Uh, the second thing is that everybody can do something with this kind of initiative. And it is an initiative that's needed because we believe that unless we clean up we are going to have the spiral effects and we are not going to be able to accomplish our goals. Spiral effects, meaning that we will have uh, crime will continue in areas that are not clean. You have the uh, broken window syndrome where you don't care and it continues to spiral. We do not believe that people who have jobs to offer and to bring into our city are going to come in. Uh, we know they're not coming in if it's crime is high and certainly they're not going to come in uh, if, if we have uh, litter and blighted, and blighted properties all over the place. So we believe that uh, all of these things are, 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 are affecting one, one of these things affect the other thing. And so, but, but clean up and blighted properties, is, 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 uh, a blighted property and blighted litter is something that we can all do. All right, well, we're going to get into the nitty gritty details of how you can get involved right after. Welcome back. I'm joined by Albany Mayor Dorothy Hubbard, and we're talking about her new service initiative about cleaning up our town. Now, we just went over a little bit, but one of the things I really want to emphasize is the connection to business and the economy. Many people might not think that having a clean Southwest Georgia would connect to bringing in businesses and getting more people back to work, but explain that to me. Well, it does. Uh, businesses don't want to come and, and put their monies in a place that's not clean. It sends a signal that we are not uh, proud of our community, that we really, really don't care. And so when they come in to look at us, that's one of the things that they look at, you know, whether we're clean. Also, when you have areas that are not clean, uh, that uh, is a, 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 a haven for criminals. They, it just seems that they, they gather then once you get one criminal there in one uh, blighted property and it's not clean, then there's another one there. So it just it's a spiral effect. And and actually, the the jobs, economic development, uh, crime, uh, litter, and, and 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 blighted properties are all interwoven, and one affects the other. In an ideal world, are you envisioning that if we had a cleaner Albany, that that would directly correlate to a safer Albany and a lower unemployment rate? Yes. Yes, that's what we're looking at, and we, we truly believe that that's what we are going to see uh, as we, uh, uh, you know, measure what we are doing and go along the path of continued cleanup. But we're asking people to make a commitment, and these are long-term commitments that we are asking people to make because we'll have uh, need an opportunity to assess where we're going. And to me, the bottom line will be, you know, are we going to get jobs in here for our people? And it's not just for adults. You want people of all ages, college, 
and uh, high school yes. and the little kids to get Love involved kids. too. Tell yes, me why I you do. want the little ones all the way up to well, adults to get involved. I, I, I don't think you can ever miss an, an opportunity to educate young young people. And you know, uh, we can that will provide incentives for them. You know, and say to them, you know, this is how life is supposed to be. You're supposed to be encouraged by cleaning up. And I think they're going to get some of our uh, the adults into cleaning up because everywhere I've been, I've said to the children, don't litter, don't throw paper in your school. You have a beautiful school. You have a beautiful room. You have a beautiful home. A beautiful neighborhood. So don't throw old paper in in uh, on the floor. Pick it up and clean up behind yourselves. And I think if you keep doing that over and over, it's an educational moment and an opportunity to teach them. I also think that they, the young children, will uh, encourage us. You know, they say, "Mom, don't throw that paper out on the street." You know, that's a good thing. habit to form at yes, a very it early age. Yes, it is. And, it, and it develops community pride in the young people. So, what is your mm -hmm. goal? What would an ideal program look at if it was 100% successful? What what would your goal be? Completely clean. No litter on the streets at all. Uh, no areas where uh, people are just actually throwing uh, cans and that kind of thing. Uh, to have the people who drive pickup trucks not have uh, throw the, the, the bottles and the cans and the packaging on the back of that truck so that they blow, they blow out. Uh, another idea will be for us to be so clean that I don't have to worry about giving giving away any prizes for this. <laughs> <laughs> she had to throw that in, but I did not tell her to do that. Prizes. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us. Again, if someone's interested in coming to the kickoff meeting, where can they go? <clears throat> okay, I would like to suggest that they register by calling 311. We're going to uh, provide a light lunch for those uh, participants who register uh, and, and participate on Saturday. Uh, but we're talking Saturday, June 9th at the Albany James H. Grace Civic Center. And uh, we want uh, you to call 311 to register. And you, you can just actually give one, you know, register one person, but give them the number. Uh, you may also sign up by uh, going to the website at uh, www.albany.ga.us. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for well, coming on the you. show. Thank you. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate having I really you on. I really enjoyed it.